The San Francisco 49ers traded four draft picks for running back Christian McCaffrey. And you know what? It looked like a pretty damn good trade for San Francisco on Sunday afternoon. I have my reservations about trading a second, third, fourth, and fifth round pick for a running back. Don't care how good he is. That is a huge haul of draft capital. But you know what? McCaffrey got the job done in a major way in a pivotal game for the 49ers before they go into their week nine bye. The Niners swept the Rams on Sunday, winning 31-14 to at SoFi Stadium in L.A., even though it felt like a game at Santa Clara, what with all the red and gold in the stands. McCaffrey, brilliant in the game. 183 total yards, and he scored three touchdowns. And he did it in every way you possibly could. He threw one, he ran one in, and he made a really nice catch on another. And so McCaffrey getting the job done in every conceivable fashion for a Niners team that needed it. Even though the game ended up being a runaway, it was close for much of the afternoon. Now look, McCaffrey, not only did he have 183 yards, not only did he score three touchdowns, but he did so many of the little things that helped San Francisco win. The Niners had five third down conversions in the game. McCaffrey had two of them. That's 40% of the third down conversions came from one player, McCaffrey. Also, on first down, and this cannot be stressed enough, he touched the ball 16 times. He averaged 5.6 yards per touch on first down. That makes life a hell of a lot more manageable for Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo loves play action fakes. Guess what? When you're in second and four and better all the time, you're going to be able to throw some play action passes and get teams to bite. It also is going to slow down the pass rush. The Niners thrived in that situation on Sunday, and it helped the Niners to get to four and four on the season, moving ahead of the Rams, moving a full game ahead of the Cardinals, and trying to chase down the Seattle Seahawks, who at 5-3 and three do lead the NFC West by a game. Of course, San Francisco already with a week to win over Seattle. So that bodes well for the faithful. Look, with McCaffrey, the Niners suddenly have this triumvirate of incredible talent with George Kittle and Debo Samuel, with the latter not even playing on Sunday with a hamstring injury, but should be back after the bye week. Then you factor in a guy like Brandon Ayuk, and all of a sudden San Francisco one of the more dangerous offensive cores in the NFL, maybe the most dangerous in terms of just pure weaponry. Look, San Francisco now is going to come out of the bye and get the L.A. Chargers. Well, guess what? The Chargers have the worst run defense in the NFL, averaging a ridiculous 5.7 yards per carry against. Joey Bosa is going to be nowhere to be found as he is still recovering from an injury. He's out 8 to 10 weeks. Probably won't see him till around the beginning of December. And so... All of a sudden, if you're San Francisco, you're looking at your situation going, not bad. McCaffrey's making everything easier offensively. And if you don't believe me, by the way, Garoppolo, 21 of 25 for 235 yards, two touchdowns, and no turnovers against the Rams. Most efficient day of the season by a mile. Why? Constantly in good situations. Well, he should be in good situations against the Chargers, who literally can't stop anybody from running the football. And now we're going to get the Niners, who have two weeks to prepare, getting McCaffrey more acclimated with the offense, that is going to be one of those games you'll look at and say, yeah, Styles make fights in the NFL. That could be an early round knockout. The Chargers have no ability to get off the field against the Niners. And on the other side of things, I would expect Justin Herbert to be under a lot of pressure in that game. But sing to McCaffrey for one more second. Listen, it's a lot to give up. Four picks. McCaffrey's got to be the difference in winning a Super Bowl for that to all be worth it. But he very well might be in a conference where you'll look at it and go, it's Philadelphia, maybe it's Dallas, and then who else? Yes, Minnesota and the Giants both have six wins. I don't think anybody thinks either of those teams is more talented than the 49ers. And so McCaffrey showing his worth in a very clutch divisional win. San Francisco goes to the bye at 4-4. and Considering all the injuries, you'll live with that if you're San Francisco and you are very happy with the early returns on one of the biggest investments the Niners have made in some time.